Today is the 10th of September 2020. This is a 14-year-old female Labrador Retriever. Uh, one, day, one week ago, it came in. One week ago, uh, well, about fever. Yeah. Came in with a very high fever of 30, mm. 39.8 degrees. Okay. So it was treated with antibiotics, huh? Uh, and we gave a drip with apartments. Mm. Is it skinny or not? See, I'm doing it. Yeah, it, it's not putting on weight. Yeah. So as seen in the video, the dog is underweight and also appears to have many skin lumps around the body. There is also a very big lump seen at the axillary area of the Labrador Retriever, which is the one Dr. Singh is holding on to. Furthermore, when lifting up the dog to see more lumps under the body, the owner said that the lumps appeared only after feeding her dog dark meat. That was around 5 years ago. More lumps were found at the back area of the dog. As seen in the video, when you look closely, there's actually a lump at the back area around the hind leg. More lumps can be seen at the back area of the dog as well as underneath the dog. This is a Be Kind of Pets veterinary educational video brought to you by the Pio Vets. An old female Labrador Retriever has multiple body lines as large as golf balls. Five years ago, the lumps appeared after I fed her dark meat, Tan said. I consulted a vet, he said to wait and see if they grow much bigger and cause her irritation or lameness, he will then remove them. Today is the 10th of September 2020. The subcutaneous lumps have had an increase in numbers and sizes. The dog had a fever 7 days ago and is underweight. Were the multiple skin the cause of her poor health? Dr. Daniel had taken blood and urine for examination. Are they really lipomas or the cancerous cells like liposarcomas, mast cell tumors or soft tissue sarcomas? Vet1 had not performed any biopsy on these fatty lumps. So what exactly are lipomas? Lipomas are non-cancerous fatty lumps under the skin. They appear in the older dogs and on any part of the body. The cause is unknown. Older and obese dogs are said to be more likely to develop these lipomas. Most vets advise observation instead of surgery to remove the lipomas. When these lipomas are large and irritate the dog or causing the dog to be limping, they are removed. However, the best practice is as follows. First, physical examination. It's not good enough to diagnose that the lumps under the skin are lipomas. Hence, the second option, cytology, F&A, biopsy. It is important for the vet to use cytology to diagnose the lipomas. Cytology is the examination of the cells under the microscope. The vet collects the cell by using a fine needle to aspirate the cells and transfer the collected cells to a slide to look under the microscope. Alternatively, the vet uses a biopsy punch to take out a sample of the lumps for the laboratory to check the cells. Now, why do some dogs develop lipomas? Not much is known. Older dogs and certain breeds past middle age and are obese develop these fatty lumps. This Labrador Retriever was never fed dry or canned dog food, Miss Tan told me. She eats only home-cooked food. Did you give her a lot of fat and sausages? I asked. No, Miss Tan said. Did you feed her raw diet as her total cholesterol is high at 8.5 millimoles per liter? The normal range of values are 3.4 to 6.5 millimoles per liter. Yes, she said, I feed her raw diet since she was a young dog. Not all dogs with high total cholesterol levels develop fatty lumps, hence the presence of high total cholesterol is not a useful indicator. Best advice from Dr. Singh Kong Yuan Surgical Excision and Histology 
is the removal of the fatty lump and sending it to the laboratory to determine whether they are cancerous or not. This is because I had some cases of the Labrador Retriever misdiagnosed as lipomas when they are cancerous liposarcomas, mast cell tumors, or soft tissue sarcomas. Number 2. Owners have no time. Many owners in Singapore do not have their lipomas checked yearly. The vet should use FNA or biopsy unless the large fatty lumps irritate the dog as they become ulcerated and infected or cause lameness. By then, such lumps may be cancerous mast cell tumors or soft tissue sarcomas that have had spread. The large fatty lumps in the right hind leg could be a cause of limping on the right hind leg. Miss Tan will have to decide on whether x-rays of the left hip to check for hip arthritis. Large lipomas at the right knee joint area can impede movement, but Miss Tan has to decide on surgery to remove them. For more videos, please visit our website or call in to our clinic.